Hello, happy new year 2021. For my subscribers returning, thank you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Imagine attending a birthday party without cakes, a wedding without cakes. Hmm. On my show today, I will be delving into the business of cakes. Stay tuned. Welcome to World of Niches One. My name is Lady Juliet. On my show today is a lovely lady who has been in the cake business for eight years. Four years in her home country, India, and four years here in the United Kingdom in the cake business. My guest will be sharing very valuable information on how to get started in the cake business. But before we meet the guest, click that like button for me so that YouTube knows we are sharing very valuable content on this channel. And of course, subscribe and leave a comment. I love to read those comments. Now, without further ado, let's meet the guest. Hello there. My name is Gayatri and I own Kekachino. I'm based in Southeast London, United Kingdom. Gayatri, welcome to the show. What do you like most about making cakes? Well, uh, baking and decorating a cake is essentially a very creative skill. It helps me to translate the customer's vision on an edible canvas with my creativity. The concentration needed in baking a cake helps me forget all the hardships I have had during the day. And actually when I see the end product, it makes me forget everything and that makes it all worthwhile. And I love to see that smile on my little customers when they see their cakes, they go like, wow, what a cake. <laughs> Baking has given me an opportunity to meet some wonderful customers who have ended up being my very good friends and well-wishers. I always find feedback very rewarding and encouraging. Creating cakes gives me an opportunity to be a part of so many heartwarming celebrations. And I always feel when my customers go down the memory lane and when the image of their cake pops up, they will most definitely remember Kekichino. Gayatri, does one require a degree, a certification or training to get started in this business? Does one require university degree or a special training to get into the cake business? Um, no, I don't think that you need a special training, but having one will definitely give you an upper hand and boost your confidence. Uh, I have realized when you grow, uh, go ahead in this profession, there are certain things that you need training with, which you cannot uh, find anywhere. Uh, for example, I have myself have done a course in flour making and wedding cakes so that my doubts were cleared and I came out as a more confident person. Uh, however, for a home baker like me, there are so many mediums like YouTube, Instagram and Facebook which give you a lot of tutorials. Um, more than training, what you need is the passion and creativity in this field. These two things will take you, take you forward. Practice makes you perfect, so keep practicing. Gayatri, for anyone looking to get started in this cake business on a tight budget, what sort of funds do you think one would need? This is quite difficult. There's no, not a certain amount that you need, but on by my experience, I started this business with pound 500 and uh, to buy the basic tools and voila. Start with your family and friends and make sure that you click good pictures of your cakes to make your portfolio and that's how you can market yourself. What are some of the basic essential tools needed to get started in this business? 
what are the essential basic tools and equipments needed to start this business uh, there's not much that you need to start this business uh, the things that are necessary for you to have is um, a hand blender or a dough mixer like KitchenAid, uh, digital weighing scale, palette knives, spatulas, cake tins, different sizes of cake tins, um, you need um, uh, piping bags, basic nozzles, cake board and that's about it. You can start with the basic cakes using these. Gayatri, sugar is a key ingredient in cake making. There are many occasions that will require you to sample uh, your cakes. Weight gain is one of uh, the effects of high sugar consumption on the body. Now, how do you deal with this high sugar consumption issue as a cake maker? regularly baking cakes every day or every other day simple have an in-house taster that does not who does not put on weight very easily <laughs> okay okay this is uh, a difficult part of baking but i'm gonna try to answer this uh so basically the tasting part of the cake business is only when you uh, only in the initial months of your baking uh, especially when you introduce a new flavor or uh, you know you you're you're trying out a new recipe and that's when you need testing but over the period of time you get a hang of uh, what goes uh, where and how much like when you cook food you don't you always add salt you know just uh, just as a guess you know you don't keep tasting it it's the same uh, but uh, what I follow is I usually use an ice cream stick to taste my buttercream uh, that way I don't end up eating a lot of it and uh, however saying all this a good routine of exercise and um, a healthy diet throughout the day is most important. Gatri, what are some of the challenges you encounter in this cake business? What are some of the challenges I encounter in this business? Well, this is going to be different for different bakers, but the most uh, difficult one that I have faced so far is the pricing. The one size fits all approach cannot work with custom made cakes. People are usually uh, used to buying cakes from supermarkets where they tend to use ready mixes and that's why their cakes are cheaper. But for home bakers, it's entirely different game. We have to buy the products. We have to uh, do everything from the scratch. Again, the price for the cake also depends on so many factors like the design, the size of the cake, the, uh, the flavor you choose, the time taken to do the toppers. And all this definitely makes a difference when you price the cake. People who appreciate good quality cakes don't mind paying the price. The second challenge I face is marketing. There are so many mediums of marketing these days, but doing everything single-handedly from procuring the raw materials, sorting them, cleaning them, and uh, baking, and leaves very little time for me to do marketing. However, marketing is very important if you want to grow your business. The third challenge I would like to mention is the balance between work and family. Although working from home gives me the comfort and convenience, but being a home baker is an extremely difficult job. That means you have to do entire work in the house as well as man, you know, schedule your work and fit it in the schedule of your family. That means it's usually late night and early mornings and you're always not rested well. What sort of personality should somebody possess when considering getting into this business? There are quite a few I would like to say. First is you need to be a very organized person because baking is all about careful timing. Second, you need to be a very, you need to have attention to detail. Uh, baking is science, so so you need to take into consideration the finer details. This will also help you in decorating your cakes. Third, you need to be a very creative person because you need to always come up with new ideas, new designs and uh, so that your, your customers are always pleased and always are interested in, in your work. Uh, the fourth one would be you need to be a good listener and you need to have a good communication skills 
because you there will be moments when you have to discuss the uh, the designs with the customers you need to take you you sometimes customers are not able to explain it properly so you need to listen it listen to them carefully and cross check with them every time and to, for 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 both of you to agree on a design or a flavor uh, the last but not the least you need to be able to maintain your composure under pressure because there will be times where things get so so busy and if you lose your composure you will tend to make mistakes which will be very difficult to mend the cake business is obviously a highly competitive business what are some of your favorite advice for anyone looking to get started in this cake business firstly you have to be a very determined person who can work for long hours at a stretch Opening up a bakery, big or small, requires long hours of hard work. Endurance and persistence are two qualities that will take you through this. My second advice would be always follow the government guidelines and set up your business correctly legally. It is very important to have your hygiene certificate and your hygiene rating from your concerned uh, council. Kekichino is very proud to have a five-star hygiene rating from the Dartford Borough Council and it is extremely important. The third advice would be uh, learn from basics. There are a lot of YouTube videos and Instagram and Facebook where you can up, upscale your knowledge uh, because new skills and techniques keep coming in this industry. Fourth, but not the least, is never compromise on quality and always trust your skills, trust your knowledge and never undersell yourself. Gayatri, what is your favorite cake to make? What is my favorite cake? <laughs> it's really funny, but I love making birthday cakes for kids because there are so many fun elements like these cute toppers and so many colors you can use in their cakes. And actually, when I make a birthday cake, I, I just go into this fairy land where I, you know, my creativity just starts flowing like as if I am like a little kid. Many businesses have what I call peak seasons which means there's high demand for their goods and services uh, would you say the cake business has peak season all year round or is it a case of peak seasons in some months of the year and uh, of course uh, and then quiet season in some other months of I I think the cake business is an all-round year business. As long as there are birthdays throughout the year, the cake business will be all-round year. Uh, well, it gets busier during the wedding season because wedding cakes usually need a lot of preparation and a lot of planning. Cakes are perishable foods. Have you ever had a scenario where a customer, after placing an order for a cake or cakes, refuses to pay for the cakes after it's ready for collection. Um, if you've ever had a scenario like this, how did you navigate this payment scenario? And uh, if you don't mind sharing with us what sort of payment uh, what arrangement do you have in your cake business? Oh, I have been quite lucky that I have not come across that situation as of now. I have a set payment procedures that I follow for every customer. Uh, basically, I take 50% as advance payment, which is non-refundable. And the, the balance 50%, they have to pay two days prior. So when the customer comes to collect the cake, they have made my payment. I show them the cake, they accept the cake, and that's about it. Can this cake business make you rich? Like, make you a millionaire? <laughs> no, that's funny. Uh, well, um, uh, the definition of rich can be actually different for different people. Uh, but if you are hardworking, innovative, creative, and if you can carve a niche for yourself, and that will set you apart from your competitors, you can most definitely be rich. But you, there's another most important thing is you should be able to manage your finances. A combination of all this will definitely make you successful. I don't know about rich.
where do you see the bakery industry under which your cake business belongs? Where do you see it heading for the future in view of the present uh, social distancing order, which has obviously impacted so many other businesses? We all know how the pandemic has affected all the businesses across UK. And it has most definitely affected the cake business too. But saying that it has completely stopped the business wouldn't be correct. Uh, the, what has changed actually with cake business is the sizes of the cake. They have definitely gone smaller. The wedding cake industry has been affected because there are no big celebrations happening right now. But with regards to birthday cakes, people are celebrating birthdays more so ever because this is the only time when they can make their loved ones feel special. As soon as you think of an uh, occasion or a celebration, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Isn't it cake? Yes, cake can be a real centerpiece for any celebration. And hence, I feel that cake business is only going to grow further. I would love to decorate a small cake for you. Um, so I have pre-baked a vanilla sponge here and I'm going to decorate it with vanilla buttercream in three colors and we will have a drip on it. Uh, drip is in trend right now. <laughs> so here we go. So we have a layer of vanilla sponge here. I'm just going to set up it. And I don't like to make my hands messy. So I'm going to take the buttercream in the piping bag. That was an air bubble there. Yeah. I'm going to use my palette knife to spread it. It's really cold here, so I might have to dip it in a little bit of hot water just so that it's easier to spread the buttercream. See, it makes a lot of difference. Here we go. And then I will put my second layer. Don't forget to syrup that one too. I like my cakes moist. So, here we go. Just to add some color. Just dip it in some hot water. Add the third layer. It's very important to trim your layers from the sides because they are really uneven.
him. If you're just joining us, our guest has been sharing some very valuable information about the cake business. Here are some key information shared in this um, video today. The first is that food and hygiene is absolutely important. You must have a food and hygiene certification to get involved in the food making business. A second key information is that you have to have good listening skills to take a customer order and be able to produce or make cakes to specification. A third information is keeping up with the trends. Just like in the fashion industry, the cake business also has trends. Knowing what trend, knowing what is trending will be very good. And last but not the least is of course uh, the ability to be creative, uh, come up with lovely ideas when a customer doesn't particularly know what they're looking for. It helps that you can give them some ideas because uh, you have good creative skills. So that's it for today on this show. I hope you have found some value in all of the information shared by Gayatri today on the show. I'd like to thank Miss Gayatri for coming on the show. Um, thank you for answering all of our questions. Click that like button, please, so that YouTube knows we are sharing content here on the show. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share and comment. I'd love to read those comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.